Hello dear students. Today we will discuss about the condenser. Dear students, condenser is the second important part of the vapor compression refrigeration cycle. Basically, condenser is a heat rejection device which is installed after the compressor in vapor refrigeration cycle. The function of the condenser are to desuperheat the high pressure gas, then condense it and then subcool the liquid refrigerant. Heat from the hot refrigerant gas is rejected in the condenser to the condensing medium air or water. Air and water are chosen because they are naturally available. And also their normal temperature range is satisfactory for condensing refrigerants. The condenser is also a heat exchanger as like an evaporator. And now classifications of condenser. Condensers may be classified in following three categories. Number one, the air cool type condenser. Number two, the water cool type condenser. And number three, the evaporative cool type condenser. And now, air cool type condenser. The air cool type condenser may be classified further in two subcategories. Number one, natural convection condenser. And number two, forced air convection condenser. Following are the some key points about the natural convection condenser. Number one, these types of condensers are made from the materials like steel, iron and copper. Number two, these types of condensers are used mostly in domestic type refrigerators. Number three, these type of condensers are mounted to the back side of the refrigerator unit and it cools the refrigerant when the atmospheric natural air passes through the condenser surface. The condenser gives its heat to atmosphere and cools the refrigerant. When the refrigerant loses its heat, then it gets changed from the hot vapor phase to liquid phase. Number 4 to increase the efficiency of heat rejection, the fins are welded to the tubes of the condenser. And these fins increases the surface area of the condenser. Number 5. It is necessary while locating refrigerators or the freezers cabinet with this type of condenser fixed on the cabinet. Sufficient care should be taken to allow free air movement. It should not be near an on or any warm location because it needs a normal ambient temperature to cool better. And now, number two, the forced air cool condenser. Number one, this type of condenser needs the fan or blower to circulate the air over through the condenser tubes to cool. This condenser type is also the fiend type. Fins in such coils are closely spaced and ranging between 8 to 17 fins per inch. And these fins increases the surface area of the condenser. Number 3. This type of condenser is much efficient than natural convection condenser because the mounted fan pressurizes the air then passes through the condenser tubes and fins. As air comes in contact of warm condenser tubes, the air takes the heat from tubes and leaves the space cool. Number 4. These type of condensers are used with domestic diffuser, water coolers, window and split type air conditioners. Mostly, these types of condensers are made from copper materials. And now, the types of water-cooled condensers. There are three types of condenser which falls under this category. Number one, tube in tube condenser. Number two, shell and coil condensers. Number three, shell and tube condensers. And now we will discuss each of one condenser in detail. And now number one, tube in tube type condenser. To learn this type of condensers, just note the following some key points. 
In this type of condenser, a smaller diameter pipe inserted inside a bigger diameter pipe which is bent to the desired form. Number 2. In this type of condenser, water flows through the inner tube while the refrigerant flows through the annular space between these two tubes. Number 3. In this type of condenser, the flow of refrigerant and water being arranged in opposite direction to get the maximum benefit of heat transfer. Number 4. In this type of condenser, when the normal water enters through the inner tube to the condenser, the refrigerant gets exchange its heat to water, so then refrigerant cools and converts from vapor phase to liquid phase, till to the end of the condenser, and the water becomes warmer when it leaves the condenser. Number 2. Shell and Coil Type Condenser To learn this type of condenser, you have to note these following some key points. Number 1. This type of condenser consists of a welded steel shell containing a coil of fint tubing. The water flows inside the coil and the refrigerant being in the shell. Number 3. When the refrigerant enters from inlet side of the shell in hard vapor form, then it contacts to the coil which is the water flows inside the coil. The refrigerant and water exchange their heats where the water gets warmer and a refrigerant cools. Number 3. Shell and Tube Type Condenser To learn the shell and tube type condenser, you have to note the some following key points. In this type of condenser, the sum of straight tubes with integral fins are stacked inside a cylindrical shell. Number 2. These type of condensers are very popular in the refrigeration industry. Number 3. In this type of condenser, the hot vapor refrigerant enters from the top of the shell and gets a disappreciated vapor first, then condensed and converts from vapor form to liquid form and at last subcool the liquid refrigerant. It transfers the refrigerant heat to the water and warm the water at the outlet of the condenser shell. Number 3. The Evaporative Condensers To learn this type of condenser, you have to know the some following key points. Number 1. This type of condenser has the features of both air and water cool type condensers. Number 2. In this type of condensers, both water and air employed as a condensing medium. Number 3. Water is pumped from the sump of evaporative condenser to a spray header and spread over the condenser coil. At the same time, a fan draws air from the bottom side of the condenser and discharges it out at the top of the condenser. Number 4. The spray type Number 4. The spray water coming in contact with the condenser tube surface then evaporates into the air stream. Number 5. In this type of condenser, the source of heat for vaporizing the water is taken from the refrigerant, thereby condensing the gas. Number 6. This type of condenser needs less horsepower than a water cool type condenser. Dear students, if you have liked this short tutorial, then please press the like button, comment below and subscribe my channel for more videos.